Psalm 25, 1 through 7. Have you ever really been ashamed? I mean so ashamed that you wanted to go off someplace and just hide forever, dig a hole somewhere and crawl in the hole and then pull the hole in right after you. Well, listen to Psalm 25, verses 1 through 3. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed who transgress without cause. You see, David is concerned lest he bring disgrace upon the name of the Lord. Now, when you and I are really anxious not to be ashamed, we want to live a life that is true to the Lord. We don't want anyone to use us as an excuse for sin or as an opportunity to point and say, "Uh uh-huh, one of those Christians. If that's your attitude, just keep three facts in mind. Fact number one, the glory of God. You see, this is what David's talking about in these first three verses. He says, God, I don't want anybody to do anything that will rob you of glory. It involves the glory of God. Why don't we do some things? Because God won't be glorified. Oh, there are things I could do that might not hurt me. There are places I could go that might not defile me, but they might hurt the glory of God. When my wife and I started to have a family, we discovered you couldn't leave things on the table. Now, when my wife and I were the only ones in the apartment, I could leave a knife on the table or the scissors on the floor, but not when the children came along. Which leads us to the second consideration, not just the glory of God, but the will of God. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. When you're concerned about the glory of God and the will of God, and then when you're depending on the grace of God, verses 6 and 7, remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses. When these three elements are in your life, you will never be ashamed, and you'll never bring disgrace to the name of the Lord. The glory of God, the will of God, the grace of God, this leads to a life that pleases God.